So as part of the MRF 2.0 project, we came across a set of nesting barn owls. This here is Bowie. He is a male barn owl, and he's four months old. The barn owl is a hearing predator. Um, they can see very well, but in the dark, they focus first on sound and then eyesight. When they're in the wild, their primary food sources are mice, rats, moles, and they do all their hunting once it's dark out. The MRF is such a rich bit of habitat for these owls. It gets very quiet once the facility stops operation, and a lot of rodents come out. While the rodents are scurrying about on the concrete floor, the owls are in the upper stories of the building, and they're able to hunt freely um, in this very large warehouse, and there's no place for the rodents to hide. We had to relocate a sign that was inside of the building. And when we went to relocate that sign, we noticed that two barn owls were nesting. There was a number of eggs, a couple of eggs had hatched, and we called the wildlife expert in, and she took a look at them and said we had to exclude that work zone from the project until the eggs had hatched and become mature enough to be relocated outside. We received a phone call um, that there were owls living inside of a building that was uh, undergoing a renovation. We came out in the evening after the site uh, shut down. They were kind, and they were kind enough to bring a lift out, and uh, Rebecca and I and the operator went up and had a look at the owls and, and the location. It was inside the building, about 25, 30 feet off the ground, and behind an old wooden sign. And uh, at that point, we had to contact U.S. Fish and Wildlife to see if we could uh, gain permission to move the owls uh, to an outside nest box. They went ahead and they uh, put a cyclone fence around the area because they determined that the owls are so young uh, that they wanted to wait till they got older and were able to, you know, grow their feathers and uh, so the mother can tend to them better. But we were going to uh, go ahead and relocate them. So the nest box is a box that is a, an artificial um, location that we construct for barn owls. And barn owls are specific um, cavity nesters. They need a cavity, an old building, um, a tree hollow, something of size to actually build their nest and raise their young in. Then we had the wildlife expert uh, construct an owl box outside of the MRF project. We scared mom out of, out of her nest there and then we loosened the sign and moved it and collected uh, four babies from the sign location and uh, we moved them to a nest box that we installed just outside the building about 60 feet from their um, initial home. We relocated the birds to that box so that the birds could grow and the parents could still find the, the eggs so that they could thrive. We spent a couple of hours here at night waiting to make sure that the owls were reunited with their babies. Talking with the people at, at the facility here decided that perhaps um, it would be a good idea to put many more owl boxes because there was so much habitat and there were so many adult owls still inside the facility. And then we got an offer from Salinas High School's Green Academy that they could construct about 12 other owl boxes that we could place at various locations on our site. And it worked quite well hand in glove um, between the facility, the school, and ourselves. Subsequently, we've installed 10 of them. Um, there's two, two to go up yet in trees, but hopefully in the next week or two, they'll find their way into those trees. So after the boxes were installed, about half of them were, uh, had owls in residence in them. So we ended up with about 15 eggs and, and uh, hatchlings that were, took up residence and has made it a very successful project. It really is a perfect match between wildlife and, and the uh, facility here. So the, the next phase of the project has us putting in a, an owl, owl box with a webcam in it. And that webcam will be available online for the public to come take a look at and see how the owls are doing and you know, if they've taken up residence or if, you know, if they have a new hatchlings. Uh, it's, it's pretty exciting and fun to share with the public. Absolutely, I get, I get a lot more questions about how the owls are doing than, than my actual work. <laughs>